Toy Colombo stage four, let's not mess around. 2K to go. Petrolite Boy is off the front. Astana are here to win the race. Astana have a really good lead out today. They changed it round Morkov, uh, not last wheel. Instead, he was uh, with like third man. So, and uh, the last man before Cav was uh, Case Bowl. Sorry for this mouse. It's not mine, uh, but this is the only stream I could really find that looked decent. So anyway, Lutschenko is in second wheel. He's looking very strong as well. Petrolite Boy, no worries. So really... If you actually look at Cavendish, everyone is trying to be on his wheel. So you've got people like Bonifacio, you've got Restrepo for Colombian national team, you've got Gaviria, who obviously won the other sprint stage. So they're they're real keen to try and get on his wheel. You watch Bernal do some absolute bananas moves uh, in a minute with Bonifacio here hopping around, which is pretty crazy. But anyway, what you can see uh, is that it's not actually going that quick. And Estonia, I got them wrong last time. Estonia have the best lead out. Uh, apart from Astana, maybe the best lead out. So they're on the right-hand side of the road here. Uh, the sprinter did okay. Uh, sorry, his name, I'm just getting up. Norman Vatra. Uh, they've got some decent riders like Martin Lass and stuff. But anyway, getting in towards the end of the race, you can see this guy's pulled off. Now we have Lutschenko on the front. Lutschenko's looking strong here. He is really strong. He's obviously just riding that Estonian guy off his wheel. The Estonian guy's trying to keep up and he just can't so he's pulled off Estonia now only have two so it's basically like no stress Astana have the best lead out so it's really just like will any be able to come off Cav's wheel you can see here um Lechenko's still pulling really strong Morkov gets on the front now and Morkov I don't think maybe is in the best condition which is why he's gone a little bit earlier but anyway he leading out here no worries again he can get everyone else so everyone's now fighting for Cav's wheel then Kais Ball goes chow chow let's let's go and just starts launching it Cav's looking around he's pretty nervous uh, Gaviria goes on the left hand side of him or right hand side as we look straight bit close on the barriers but to be honest Cav just had that um, we'll see a couple more replays in the overhead shot um, but yeah anyway what we can see is that Cav can beat Gaviria which is good uh, I don't think it shows a lot this race but it doesn't show nothing either like it's good he's won it's altitude doesn't really sue him too well maybe but Cav's still looking good lead out is getting perfected which I guess is the main thing they looked a lot better today with Case Ball. And I actually think Case Ball is a really good lead-out man as the, as the last one. He got a lot of stick for it in the tour last year. I actually don't think he does that bad, but you can see. So here we have the helicopter shot, and you can see Case Ball does a really good lead-out. When Cav comes off his wheel, he's definitely the fastest. Gaviria goes on his side. I think it's touch and go, but to be honest, the probably gap wasn't there. I don't think Cav actually moved. He moved right, if anything. He didn't move left, so I actually think that's like fair enough. It's just one of those things. Um, Gaviria didn't have enough space, and it's not Cav. Cav doesn't need to let him out. Cav just needs to sprint straight. Uh, but yeah, them two look pretty similar, I reckon. Um, but anyway, cheers for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you in the next one. Also, this is a wild finish.